everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We are blessed with Delaney's second sketchbook? For this year. For this year. Okay, awesome. So, <laughs> how are you doing? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's good. A little yeah. bit more relaxed? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. All right, so let's get started with this. So, this one's your fourth. Let me grab my glasses. Um, this one is your fourth sketchbook. Mm -hmm. And uh, when did you start this one? Just after Christmas break, I think. Okay, so about uh, Janu mid January, yes, yeah. third week in January. And uh, so you're pretty much going bonkers with all the different techniques. Like, explain like that particular page. Like, what materials are you using? And do you use the same materials? Uh, I honestly, I just kind of do what, whatever I have around. So, like, this, I, this was like crayon, crayon. This was watercolor. These were watercolor. I did these at the beach. And then I just cut them out. And like some of this is just like coffee or knockoff coffee, but okay. it's just kind of like everything. A lot of this was like Crayola, I think, and some coffee. And how long does a page like that take you, the one on the right, my uh, right? Maybe it depends. I, I don't really keep track, but I guess like an hour. Okay. Maybe 30 minutes because I just kind of like sketch and then I just kind of however long the color takes me. But. And does your animation that you do look something similar to what you're doing here in your sketchbook? I really wish it did, but the film I'm working on right now has no color and it's driving me nuts. Yes. <laughs> so hopefully, I hope to do like more animation over the summer in my free time. That's more like how my style is because more like this year's animations that I've been making are like more technical. Okay. More like the basics. Gotcha, so it's, gotcha. It's not very like or experimental. Okay. And I remember you talking about color that you hate to do images without color. Mm -hmm. And I thought about that a lot and I did a little color on, on my own stuff uh, as background. So I, I appreciate your inspiration. <laughs> Thank Very you. cool. Thank you. Now is this the character in your animation that you're doing, the raccoon? Oh no, this was for um, a walk cycle that was for class. <laughs> nice. I was just doing like little studies. But that page I was going to draw a comic but it's unfinished so squares. So what I um, like so much about, and I apologize, I'm already shaking the camera. I don't know why I'm shaking the camera here, the phone, I should say. What, what I like so much about Delaney's sketchbook is that um, she has no fear whatsoever. Like, she just dives into it and draws. And um, a lot of people, and I would include myself in a lot of people with a sketchbook, want each page to kind of come out so perfect. And um, Delaney just kind of makes it happen. And uh, the whole... Uh, is greater than just like one page and it's just like Delaney's sketchbook. I think that your sketchbook is an experience. It's not a, a sketchbook, but when you look through it, it's like you're going through like this journey uh, and it's really beautiful. Like you got a great lot of great stuff and, and look Thank at that. You. Like how long did that one take you? Oh boy. I, I sketched out, I just did like a little comic, but I sketched it out like last semester actually. And I just colored it like a little bit ago. Um, so, ooh, so I don't know, I guess like total like a few hours. Okay. <laughs> now with all this wonderful work that you're doing here in your sketchbook, uh, remind us all what is your dream job and has it changed at all after your first semester, first year now just mm -hmm. about at SVA? Yeah, when I first got here, I really didn't know like I didn't know that I had to pinpoint so specifically what I need like what my job would be I was just kind of like oh I want to be like a character designer and now I know that it's not so easy to have a job at that because there's very few so I would really just like something and like uh, I guess like vision I, I'm really looking towards like visual development okay. and just like um, concept art because I really just like exploring ideas and like experimenting so anything where I can do that or like experimental animation but I know that's not like an easy job to find but well I, I mean <laughs> I apologize if I asked you this question the last time but oh, okay. I, I would love to see your stuff big on like the side of a building or on huge canvases would you ever consider as a side gig doing something like that oh yeah definitely if, if I can if I can make money just like going crazy how I do my sketchbook, I would love, love to do And that. then the other thing that I would definitely consider doing is actually publishing uh, copies of your sketchbook. Um, because your sketchbook is just something that uh, 
it's it's really pretty cool and people would just want to get inspired by it and you can actually sell copies of your sketchbook I think that would be something that you can do as like a little side gig as well from the big fine art piece uh, for wall painting like interior stuff I think that'd be really uh, something for you to consider oh, have you gosh. ever worked big uh... I kind of used to like before um, before coming here. I used to paint on like big pieces of wood nice. <laughs> and do like gouache and stuff and do kind of like craziness like this on there. But I stopped since coming here because I don't have time. Okay. But I, I would love to go back to like doing bigger stuff because it's a lot of fun. Okay, so we need to just stop the sketchbook video. And what ring? <laughs> what ring is on your finger? <laughs> it's a baby. <laughs> okay. I made it. I got this baby in this bookstore in little tokyo in los angeles okay and i just had a ring face and i'm like time to make a ring with this baby <laughs> okay love it so you made that yeah oh my god all right and these were from um a swap meet, i think nice so you're pretty much creative with everything <laughs> i don't know wow i love what kind is that just like a red ballpoint pen yeah i i like to my favorite thing lately is taking ballpoint pen and then just taking a watercolor brush and water and just going over it because most pens like work with water so that's been kind of my thing wow and then there's our then there was homework assignments oh that was rough <laughs> the full thing was so rough do you like um do you feel that when you have to do an assignment like that you get a little stifled versus just having the work come out of you naturally uh I think, well, I don't know, kind of. I feel You're like, I feel like it's more of like, uh, yeah, I feel like my problem is that like, instead of like, like if I have a homework assignment, I'm like, okay, time to sit and think of an idea rather than like an idea just coming to me. Yes. And I think that's where I get stuck. I see. I mean, your black and white one was one of the best ones, so. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to. No, it's a good pace because this is a thick sketchbook. <laughs> we're, we're, on, we're on pace. You're doing good. Wow. So you're going home to California now for the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, four, three, four classes left. How was your experience at SVA? Did you enjoy it? Uh, it was... Uh, it was really good, honestly. Wow, go, go back to that page. That, <laughs> you, we got... I mean... <laughs> I think I posted that one on Instagram. But uh, yeah, SVA, I... I had, oh, just all my classes were really good this year, honestly, like, I had such a good experience, and I learned so insanely much. Good. It really helped me. Very cool. Wow. And your figure drawings have got so much better. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I definitely struggled with that when I first got here, but I feel... More so before you came here into this particular classroom, did you ever do figure drawing before? No, actually, my um, so the only art like class like experience I had was in um, high school. I took an art class, but they didn't do figure drawing or life drawing or anything involving people. It was just like objects, so I never really got the experience of like drawing a figure okay. before coming here. Wait, I want you to go back to the two pages to the drawings from the museum. Mm -hmm. So, do you guys see this? Like, I, I like what Delaney's doing where she's doing these value studies of John Singer Sargent paintings, uh, and then she's drawn this statue here that I think uh, came out so good. Like, what, that's a really good traditional life drawing of Thank that you. statue. <laughs> Love it. And then the arms and armor with the the only knight that had a beer belly. I uh, Delaney him. picked that one, so I that loved one was so really good. Okay, I'm sorry, I interrupted. Let's keep going. <laughs> it's, okay. the, it's almost over anyway. Yeah, the, the following pages are just as good. I Love need it. to color that one. And this one. So, like, you just kind of zone out with that black line, right? Yeah, this, I think I did the black line in English class. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of zoned while listening. But. Wow. So cool. Now, all these sketchbooks that you did this semester, you're keeping them, right? Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. all of them. Yeah, you have to keep them. I mean, this is a serious journey. Your kids are going to like look at this and they're going to be like, wow, mom was out there. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I'll still be that crazy. Yeah, love it. Thank you. So this, 
Okay, so end of January, February, end of, so about almost two and a half months for this. Yeah. Every inch of every page is filled. This is insane. <laughs> and then these are the last pages. I just did these in class. Wow, <laughs> okay. Wow, Delaney, that is such a good sketchbook. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. So we will look for your links, uh, your Instagram right below, right? Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So glasses, no glasses, there we go. Thank you.